we're back with another episode of the Ultimate Redstone. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, yeah, guys, we're back with a little bit more today, and today we're going to be working on inverters and torches. And um, as we discussed in our last episode, um, we can power things with levers and torches and all that good stuff. I did miss the daylight sensor, but um, basically what it does is it just takes the sun and it powers things depending on the height of the sun. It's pretty cool. So like the higher up the sun is, it's going to power more blocks. It's pretty cool. But um, what we're going to do here today, we're going to be working on inverters. Um, basically, redstone torches can be turned on and off. There's the the default setting is on, like that, where it will power redstone, but when it is turned off by another signal, it will turn off and invert the signal backwards, so now, now this redstone is off. Um, in my opinion, these things do not get enough recognition, inverters, as they're called, among many other names. Um, because you use them in almost every redstone project. If you want something to be on by default, then you're going to need it. And like, let's say you want to make a trap. Now, this is probably a waste of my time, but you know. But you want these things to be on permanently, right? But now you need a way of turning this thing off. I'm an idiot. There you go. And boom. I don't know. I'm burning in lava. Ow. These redstone lamps are burning me. Help. But either way. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So basically, here's here's the run through. That was never there. Redstone torches can be turned on and off, but through other power sources. Levers, buttons, and other things that I talked about earlier, like blocks and pressure plates and, you know, more advanced things. But, they have to be powered in a certain way. They can't just be power, powered directly to it, because redstone torches will just power the signal to the redstone that you're trying to get to the redstone torch, like right here. You can invert it so that it goes down, which means basically what's happening here is redstone can travel through one block. All blocks can make redstone power. Or can have redstone go through another block. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, this is supposed to be a repeater, but you know what? Work. You know what? It works. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I've been having a bad day out here. It's like allergies, but redstone travels through one block. Redstone can travel through a block. Any block will tr like transmit redstone through it. But what happens here is it powers this block right here, which power which powers the redstone torch turning it off, like so. It's as simple as that. It can also be transferred up into the block, like that. If the redstone powers this block, turning off the torch. Um, there's many, 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 many practical uses for this, like, here I've got my, um, nighttime light, and, like, the night light. So when it's nighttime, this daylight sensor transmits, well, when it's daytime, it, it powers this torch, which turns off the lights. When it's nighttime, it's not getting any power, which means this is on, which is powering these redstone lamps while you're not in the inside of the house. During daytime, we have the windows, which have sunlight come through. So if we do that, lights turn off. Very, very practical use. And um, we discussed how to the, um, craft lights and torches before. This is just kind of like a little run-through of inverters and um, what you can do with them. So I think we're gonna build like a little maybe maybe a little track here. Just to give you a demonstration. 
So basically what happens is that it's not much of a trap if people already see the lava down there that they're going to burn in. So what we want to do is we want to conceal it using pistons that pull back blocks. And I mean, you know, of course, why wouldn't we use a tripwire? Tripwires are epic. But they're going to come over here, and then this will power something. But, I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's going to... Okay, never mind. Um, we'll move this back some. Technical difficulties. No worries. No worries. So what's going to happen is this going to hook up to an inverter. And I got rid of the rest of the torches. Because I'm an idiot. And, and what's going to happen is these things are going to be powered. Whoa. Look, that is not for this episode. That was a clock, by the way. Um, <laughs> I like messing with stuff like that. But, either way, oh crap, I just messed up the redstone, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Hey, it'll work in a minute. Let's grab the trip wires. I'm gonna need that. And a string. As I discussed last episode, trip wires, power redstone. And then you're like, do 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 do. Okay, that was a little bit laggy. Um, I had a strange feeling that that would happen. I'm a smart guy. Oh, crap. Um. This piston doesn't need to be here. That's cool. But what's gonna happen here is... Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, technical difficulties, but you guys get how it works. I'm gonna be, like... Oh, no. Actually. No, that's, that's a later episode. I was gonna say we could put a repeater. But... That's... I will... Oh, just for this episode. Oh no! Oh no! I'm dying! No! Help! Help! I am invincible. So long, bitches. Okay. So that's all, guys, for this episode of Ultimate Redstone. Um. We will get to more advanced stuff, I promise, in case you guys are more advanced, like me, um, where you might want to do, get through the boring stuff, but I do want to cover this for any new people to, to Redstone, because I know a lot of people who are not advanced to Redstone and don't even know the basics, so I just want to get that covered before we start on the more advanced stuff, but guys, that's all, and, um, See you guys later.